Hello, this is the BBN, and uh, today, ah, okay, so this is the problem that we have in our community, at least one of the issues that I personally think is my opinion that we have in our community, is quality over quantity. You know, we should be thinking quality over quantity. That's what we should be thinking. You know, we should be searching out things with more substance rather than saying, oh, this guy is better than that guy because he's done whatever more times or more often. Um, I write music personally. I, I'm going to drop some, you know, quick freestyles uh, pretty soon. I, I write music personally. I rap a little. And so that's why when Lil Wayne was coming out with all of those songs in the early 2000s. Uh, I was busy telling people, look, he can't write all of this. This is just not possible. I wasn't just saying that he couldn't write all of this because it was so much material that he was putting out, but also because it was so different from the material in which he previously put out. Not the, 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 the content, but the quality of the music had vastly improved. You know, he went from a guy that could just talk really fast and you know that that's that's basically what his style was, just spitting that hot fire at six thousand degrees or whatever the fuck. But um, you know, some of his music back then was it was pretty decent. He has showmanship. Like I've always seen it. He has showmanship in him. He's he's a sh good showman. Um so when he came out with the music in the early 2000s, I didn't really, you know, I was like, oh, man, that shit's hot. The the Lick You Like a Lollipop song he had. That album, that whole album that he didn't write any of it, by the way. Uh, some of it was written by the guy that actually sung the chorus of Lick You Like a Lollipop. I think he had um, died mysteriously or some shit. And also, uh, I think he had... Other songs that were written by um, Gilly the Kid. I'm not. Old. I'm not sure if that was the album that Gilly worked on. But uh, well, I get into that. I'll get into that whole uh, ghost writing in contrast with uh, you know writing together as a unit and uh, you know helping somebody. But the point in which I'm trying to make is, Little Wayne has all of this notoriety for songs that he really just performed. He didn't write. Well, that's fine also because, you know, in this world that we live in now, you have people who write songs and you have people who perform songs. So let's get to the crux of this whole conversation. So Lil Wayne is on Undisputed, which I am going to start watching because uh, I just can't stand First Take. First Take is just, I don't know if it's uh, ESPN at this point or if it's just Stephen A. Smith at this point, but First Take is just, they just, uh, say back with shit too much like too often do they uh want to look like they're pushing one agenda and then as soon as something crazy happens in america they kind of go back and they try to say like with the whole colin kaepernick thing like how can you tell somebody when it's okay for them to protest it's a it's a protest you can protest at any time matter of fact the best time to protest is when the op don't want you to protest that's the best time to protest. When the op don't want you to protest, that is when you protest. So he's protesting when he's protesting, and the ops is saying he shouldn't be protesting. That's exactly when he should be protesting. Colin Kaepernick is doing it right. And um, it's a shame more people aren't, or more uh, athletes aren't, you know, uh, hearing the call. It's a shame more aren't hearing the call. Because let's be perfectly honest, all of this started because of uh, uh, Carmelo Anthony. You know, Carmelo Anthony is the reason why they all went on the uh, the award show, the the ESPYS. You know, uh, Carmelo Anthony started all of that. So let's keep that in mind, all of you people who talk about how trash the Knicks are, how much I hate Colin, um, hate part of me, Carmelo Anthony for whatever reasons that people are hating him. You know, I, I hear he doesn't pass the ball, but I watch a lot of Knicks games, passes the ball a lot. Dudes just miss, but you know that's either ne neither here nor there. So. You have a Lil Wayne on Undisputed. So Lil Wayne is on Undisputed. So while he's on Undisputed, they talk to him about the Colin Kaepernick situation. Well, actually, they talk to him about racism in general. And one of the stupid things he said is that he doesn't see racism because when he does the show in Westchester, for those who don't know Westchester, Westchester is lily white. 
So when he does a show in Westchester, you know, it's also a, a affluent community, you know, parts of it, obviously. So when he does a show in Westchester, all these white kids show up. So, you know, racism doesn't exist because people are seeing, they're paying to see him perform. Uh, what kind of mess is that? They're paying to see you freaking shucking and jiving. I mean, that should prove more that racism exists, that they that the freaking, you're doing a concert and there isn't more... He said the only black person he saw was his makeup artist. He's doing a concert and there isn't more integration in the audience. Like there's not there's not more diversity, pardon me, in the audience. Obviously, there's this whole fuckery is going on. You're trying to tell me that I don't care where you are. If you freaking doing a show in Boston, then you got people from you know, let's say a rock band, uh the uh, Rolling Stones is doing a show in Boston. You're going to have people from freaking Michigan going there to see it. You're going to have people probably from Florida going to see it. You understand what I'm saying? So just because you did a show in a white community and you uh, assuming you sold out. I don't know what he did, but I'm assuming he sold out. He did a show in a white community and sold out. That doesn't mean that racism doesn't exist, idiot. All that means is that there's a lot of white people that like to see you shucking and jiving in that community. That's it. There's a whole bunch of white people that want to pay to hear you talking about killing other niggas, mistreating women, black women on top, up top of that. Because you really ever, when they talk about white women, they talk about white women like that's the best shit you could have. You know, when you say a line like, yeah, and I woke up with 30 white women, you know, that's supposed to, oh, yeah, 30 white women. Not that he had 30 women. <laughs> like the subliminal, anyway. So this idiot goes on uh, Undisputed, and if I believe so, uh, Shannon Sharp kind of ripped him a new one. But he went on Undisputed. Can we get a shout out to Shannon Sharp for doing his job? No, not his job, like what they pay him for, but his job is just being a fucking black man. Like we all got our jobs. You understand what I'm saying? Like just being a man, just being a woman. We all got our jobs. Shannon Sharp did his job. Period. He he kind of shot him down on it, but you know that 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 was all uh you know planned or whatever because you know right now ESPN is gonna obviously starting to lose viewership because I'm letting you know right now I'm one of the people who just I just don't really care for ESPN. They just too much uh it's just too much of the fuckery going on. To be honest with you, that I I really don't care for those guys. So um he goes on there and he makes whatever but the um the whole thing that i want to say is that everybody that's so uh, i'm not i'm not mad at little wayne let's get that let's get that absolutely 100% uh uh clear i'm not mad at little wayne i understand his position little wayne is in a position where he can never say what he wants to say he can never do what he wants to do he knows what the consequences are if he does any of these things he is a paid mouthpiece he is paid to go on stage and do certain things little wayne is going to have to work till the day he dies he's not going to be one of these guys that uh let's say like a, a i'm assuming i don't know i'm just gonna say fred astaire some shit i don't know i don't even know when he died but he's not one of these celebrities that they're gonna be able to retire after a while and not work no more if they don't feel like working you know hey i don't i you know i got um 100 million dollars i don't feel like working my family's good i start up a couple of businesses do some other shit he's not gonna be one like that he's gonna have to work to the day he die he signed a contract and on that contract it is what it is so he goes on these shows and he has to say what he has to say. He has no choice. People need to stop listening to Lil Wayne. One, I don't really think his music is that good. Uh, like I said, since the Lick You With A Lollipop album, he's went downhill in my opinion. He's probably had a couple of good tracks after that, but he's not really something that I consider to be that good. He's just a puppet. Everybody, he's just a puppet. Stop looking up to these puppets. Stop following trends. Be yourself. So, Little Wayne goes on the show and he starts saying racism doesn't exist. He doesn't see racism. But in the way that he's saying it, you can tell these aren't, this isn't necessarily what, he's, what, he, what, what he wants to say. He just has no choice. You know, when these shows... Uh, book people like Lil Wayne, book people like uh, uh, Dash, Stacey Dash, they know what these people have to say when they get in front of the camera. And that's how they direct their questions. They know this is your position 
And whether you, it's your position in your heart or whether it's your position because the people that pay you say that that's your position, we know your position. Now, just another point. Let's say for a set, just, just argument's sake, let's say he didn't sign some kind of contract and he doesn't have to say whatever people want him to say. He just told you that he goes to concerts and he's only white people in the concert when he goes. So that means that white people are buying his tickets. So that means that he's making money because of white people. You really think that he's going to go on any kind of show and say anything negative about white people at all? That's his bread and butter. People, stop looking up to these guys. Anyway, got to go and uh, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Enjoy your day.